Alrighty guys, um, so, did my little review earlier of the FPP Debonair. Um, I want to make a light shield for the red window on the back so there's not too many light leaks. And I also want to do some kind of, like, way I can identify what film is inside of it. For instance, Kodak port Portrait is what came with the camera. So I made myself a little tag. And I have an old expired uh, Polaroid. This is from an old project that I was trying to revive. Um, this is not your typical Polaroid 400 integral film. It sure looks like this. This is the Polaroid 500 film for the Captiva SLR cameras. It seems to be the perfect size for a light blocker on the back of this. So, what you do is all I did was cut a little slit using a box cutters. I just went down here and cut a little slit. And now I can put things inside of this little plastic pouch. See if you can look at that. See? Now I have a film identifier. And right now I'm trying to figure out a way to mount this onto the camera. Because it is, it is almost the perfect size. It's slightly larger. So I'm going to rest the camera right there. And I actually like using medical tape. These are for like sports injuries and stuff. It's very sticky. And it's easy to cut. So I'm going to take about that much. Yeah. So I cut that much off. And I'm going to put it just on the edge. Make sure I can still get in that window. So make sure everything is on there and I can still access it. So, and then, hmm. I'm going to put it right onto the camera and I'm just going to stick it right on there. Make sure it's stuck on there really well. I'm just going to use the back of the box cutter to rub it in place. And then I'm going to gently open it just a little. Open. Maybe it's locked. Nope, it's unlocked. I guess because I taped it in place. Alright. So I'm just going to cut along the this line. There you go. I already felt the uh, back separate. Alright, since I did that, the back separated. And now I should be able to pull it off. It's simple. So there's that part. And that's probably going to fall off. So what you want to do is tape the back. So turn it around just like that. Get another strip. Actually, I can use the old one. This strip right here. Put that back down press on it. There you go. And that's pretty tough. I don't think it's going to move. So that's on there very well. I just had to, when you're moving film, just lift it up just a little enough for it to see. Close back up. Doesn't need to be perfect. I mean, if you want. could do something like this. Make a little tab and hold it down. If you want really good protection, but I think it looks kind of cool without it. 
So, and when you shoot, you usually hold it down anyways, like this. So, here's the film that it came with. That's the Kodak Portra 100. So I made myself a little tag when I use it. I'm just going to stick it right in here. Just like that. So I'll always know what type of film is in there, the chemistry, and the ISO. And at the same time, I'm blocking. So. And that's it. So, yeah. Pretty simple, guys. So if you guys want to subscribe, check out my channel. Please comment. And that's pretty cool. Okay. Like, fits, fits like a glove. And it's pretty secure on the back, too, so I don't have to... Don't really have to worry about this falling off. I'm kind of kind of worried about this little strip, but it's on there pretty tight. So I'm gonna use my finger now and just run up, run up, and run up the edge. So it's still on there pretty tight, and it's not blocking the door, so there's no light leak. See, it's flush. Put that on there. Lock it up. That's it. There you go. It's my cool looking little light blocker for the FPP debonair and that's the film and that's going to be in it so guys thanks for watching